controversy surrounding the group. Uh, there has been spe speculation about uh, MHA and uh, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting looking at revoking licenses uh, of the group. Uh, what's your reaction? Uh, why has this uh, come to pass? Frankly, I have not understood uh, why this should come to the state. Uh, in my humble view, we have done nothing wrong. And even assuming but not admitting that the promoter's actions in some direct uh, deserve to be investigated, there is no reason why the listed company, which is completely unconnected with Sundarek, should be put out of business. So with great respect, I would say that I don't think this is legally sustainable because at the end of the day, it is still at an allegation stage. Till such time a verdict is pronounced, the fundamental legal axiom of presumed innocent till pronounced guilty shall operate. Anything short of that will be a gross violation of natural justice. Mm. You run 33 channels and uh, 48 uh, radio stations. In case the government of India decides to revoke li licenses, are there any contingency plans in place to ensure the continuation? Uh, there has also been some speculation about uh, transfer of ownership or exit of the promoters. Could you please comment on this? I don't think there is uh, any contingency plan other than running to the courts and asking for relief. I do believe that if and when they do this, it will be an unprecedented event because I don't think uh, we deserve to be put out of business when the matter is still subjects. There is every possibility that Mr. Maran will get acquitted in that matter. Prematurely shutting down the network is an extremely harsh step and uh, based on legal counsel that we have received, we stand a very good chance of getting protection from the courts. Have you reached out to government authorities to understand what their concerns are? Has uh, any communication been done to the group regarding what these concerns are? Sir? Unfortunately, we have not had any communication from the government, nothing written, not even oral. All that we learned was through press reports. I mean, every morning we get surprised when we see some headlines that suggest certain discussions have taken place between two ministries. So we, 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 are, we are the affected party. We have absolutely no clue what is transpiring. Uh, so it's unfortunate, but that's the truth. In a single day, more than 26% uh, of your market capitalization was wiped out. Uh, what's been the impact on your distributors, uh, the large institutional some investors, some of them who have exited, uh, employees, what's been the kind of impact? Sir? Employees are justifiably worried, but I think we are a very tenacious company. We've been through similar difficult times in the past, but we have actually weathered each and every storm and really come out even more stronger. So I do believe that there is an extraordinary resolve at this time in the company to fight this and be not successful. But I think somewhere these actions have undermined the confidence of global investors in India. As it is, we have a terrible image in terms of a lousy place to do business. And these kind of arbitrary actions have severely undermined the confidence of global investors. Some of them have actually told me so. Uh, does this have anything to do with, do you perceive this as political vendetta? Has there been attempts at uh, mediation through uh, parties interested in the entire thing? And uh, is there any truth at all whether there would be any transfer of ownership uh, being even considered? I don't know if, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think I can comment on the political motivations. I, frankly, I don't know and I don't want to comment on this. Uh, and I don't think uh, Mr. Maran is in any mood to sell this company. Because at the end of the day, we have done nothing wrong. It is a labor of love that he has persevered over the years. He's created an outstanding company. And why should he sell? What wrong has he done? So, in my opinion, I don't think this business is for sale. Has it had any kind of impact in terms of your day-to-day -day operations, sir? Nothing at all. It's business as usual. And uh, we come to work on time when we do our normal stuff. And as I said, we are even more determined to do better. 
for our employees, for our customers and our stakeholders. Uh, it's business as usual.